Now, a lot of things are ongoing from different agencies. We, we share how we are violating and tolerating the military department of the agencies to drive the interest of the young people. I've seen that there's been, there's been a review of the election week policy. How is this? Uh, I've seen the letter. Next week, I think we are finalizing the uh, 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 policy. How is this driving the young people towards after? And what are some of the interests you are seeking for the young people uh, of this country for the after advantage? Yeah, thank you very much for the final. I think that we should comment our. Uh, I think that we may need a one day for only the Olympia. Olympia. Yes. Has, uh, to down. But but frankly, I think that uh, following up on what has already been said, when the heads of states gathered in Kigali in 2018, I believe, to uh, adapt the agreement, the yeah. uh, Contenta Future Agreement. And when also President Kufuado handed over this building uh, to the uh, Secretariat, what our heads of state were doing was to bring down those barriers mm -hmm. uh, that some people are known to us motivated by considerations unknown to us, guarded in Berlin many, many years ago, and imagined Africa in their own economic interests. Yeah. When Africa was divided, I'm talking about the Berlin Conference, yeah. when Africa was divided amongst the world powers of the time. The power of the participating of Africa for the world. Absolutely. What they did was to take into cognizance what was in their economic interest. Yeah. And so even the resources that we had were matters that they were that were considered. And over the years they have deliberately, like Madame said, put barriers to Africa's development. And one of the vehicles of development and growth is trade. Yeah. And so up until the time our heads of state adopted this agreement, what they did was to use the Berlin Conference to perpetrate it and to reinforce those barriers that militate our, against our own development, against our own change. And so when those barriers were removed, we were open to a market of now about 1.2 billion people. Yeah. Now we are gathered in this hall. We are operating businesses we believe can be successful to a population of 30.8 million. Yeah. When we started our various businesses, because that's our population. If we can do well and thrive and make some profit and employ people with 30.8 million, imagine what you can do with 1.2 billion people. A combined GDP of about 3.4 trillion. US dollars. And so we are happy that within our time as young people, there are practical steps being taken to remove those barriers that people before us faced. And that is why, for us, one of the greatest interventions of our moment is the up the continental future area. And the big elephant in the room is that how to be positioned ourselves as young people to be able to leverage that. And that's what you that's what yeah. the question that you're asking. But even as we do that, there are many, many major policy initiatives yeah. that the Secretary must take. They have begun implementing a number of protocols. Sure. The one that concerns us the most, the youth and women, we are informed that. The deadline for the implementation of that protocol is just a few days away. It actually ought to be the 31st of December this year. So we are still waiting to hear from our colleagues in the Secretariat how advanced work is on, on the protocol that relates to youth and women. But you see, children amongst ourselves 
also has challenges. Sometimes I'm informed that the trouble between uh, Ghana and, and some other African countries yeah. is a little more expensive than the trouble between, from, say, Ghana to China. I, I think more to go to the area than to go to the uh, state. So how, how can we trade amongst ourselves if it's easier by way of course to visit Spain than it is to visit Serenade. So those are practical uh, engagements that we must have. Yeah. Okay, and the, the integration must be deepened beyond the protocols. The protocols are good, but infrastructure, I mean, how, how about a, 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 a common highway that, that drives across us? And we can we can apply those rules. Even telecommunication, yeah. sometimes the cost of communicating amongst ourselves is even much more expensive than Korea. I'm highlighting this because, like I informed you earlier, I may not have the time to sit through the whole yeah. night. And maybe it may not be an opportunity. But once our colleagues from the AFC, the, the AFCFT are here and so and so on, they can also take uh, feedback on some of these issues. But for us at the National Youth Authority, we believe that we must incorporate training mm -hmm. and information dissemination on the after in our program. Yeah. It should be a critical part of what we do. Uh, again, uh, Madame is right. The cross-border trade is most, mostly done by young people and women. Mm -hmm. And in Ghana, over 64.3% of the youth are in the labor force. Yeah. And so we must be strategic in taking advantage of the, the, the after by even identifying products and services where we have competitive advantage and, and apply ourselves to those areas. If you check agri, the agriculture and agro processing, and along the agriculture value chain, we believe that there is already competitive advantage there. The land is good, the, 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 the conditions are perfect. And so those should be the low hanging fruits that we should do. And so we insist that policy should be coordinated towards that area. We also believe that manufacturing mm -hmm. is critical. It's a great area along the West African South region, even in the uh, after the uh, region, the African region as a, as a whole. Manufacturing is a great area, it's yeah. still virgin, and we have to apply ourselves strategically in, in that area. ICT mm -hmm. is also key, and tourism mm -hmm. should be key. And that's why, when, for instance, government establishes the Ghana Development Bank, we at the Youth Authority insisted that they must be limited to investing initially in these critical areas. Yeah. And gladly for us, uh, Cabinet has approved that position and the bank that has already been given about $200 million as seed money to start the Ghana Development Bank, whose focus on these areas of agriculture, agro-processing, ICT, manufacturing, uh, and I believe tourism as well. And so, we young entrepreneurs must also know this and apply ourselves to where the low hanging fruits are because without a doubt it is easier in some enterprises than in some other enterprises because business is all about solving problems so you can benefit from it so if feeding the people of Ghana is a problem then you provide a solution to that problem and then you make money out of it, then you're a successful businessman. But if you venture into those areas where even in our estimation, identifying the problem itself is blurred, but you are venturing into that, we advise that the risks that you are taking are quite high. Mm -hmm. And so for us, uh, we must encourage education, like I said, as a matter of course in whatever public engagements that we are doing. Yeah. Then we must also insist as policy uh, makers on uh, policies that will incentivize young people 
people venture into business. Tax holidays for those guys, tax breaks. Like we did with the one district, one factory initiative. And I am happy that out of the over 270 something businesses that uh, are operating under the one district, one factory, I guess 54 of them, 54 of them are only owned by persons who are below 35 years. We, we also, 35 years, about 54 of them. We also know that there are 45 other businesses that are only owned by young persons who are yet to receive certification. But we are interested and we are uh, uh, pursuing their certification because they are our public and our constituents. The other time, a young man who makes boots, just boots, uh, here in Ghana, came by the office, we had conversations, uh, we got him to meet the, the Inspector General of Police, and they have different commitments that at least they will buy boots that are made by a Ghanaian young person from, from Ghana. These are some of the, because we, uh, frankly, all these things that we are doing, the enterprise that we are here, one of the key things that we need to do is to make modules, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. We have to amplify the young ones who are doing well yeah. to be able to motivate the other ones. And that's why I am excited yeah. that even on Saturday, uh, the, the, there will be an awards yeah. of young people because these are the practical ways that we can amplify. Because many people do not know and they feel that Businesses cannot or, or running the business cannot be for young persons. There are a lot of stars in this room. Correct. And because I'll even, frankly, yeah. I would also indulge you to allow you to address our own responsibilities as young business people, as young you know, enterprises. Because it is not just about asking what the secretariat can do for you. It's not even about asking, always about asking what an NYA or Master or GEA or get. Many a times, the questions about what we ourselves do in our own little comments also are the reasons why we will be able to succeed or not. We must have responsibilities, and Madame says that given the time she will get into the areas of uh, corporate governance. It's important. Many of us young people who have businesses, we run one man CEO, one man board, and one man uh, procurement, and one man uh, everything. And, and so the corporate governance uh, structures are not properly defined. Yeah. And you are the sole decision maker, okay, because you are the founder and CEO. It is always better if you brought in other people so that the, the checks and balance system can be instituted. If you have, even though it is your company, if you have an idea, that idea has to be properly interrogated by more than one person. And so we have to look at our the governments of our, of our companies. Again, we have to also do proper branding and, and communication. And, and I'm happy that Madame talks about many of us having websites and, and email addresses. But again, I can also testify to people who are doing well, but who do not even have emails. But if you want to take advantage of the after, and you are not even on the web, okay, website, you don't even have a website, you don't even have an email, how is it that you're going to uh, uh, take advantage of one point two billion people, some of whom are in Madagascar? Yeah. So you need to uh, get quite attractive and out there in the face of people as well. And then our own attitudes, for me, is what the crux of the matter, uh, the matter is, okay? I want the feel that, yes, we have challenges, unemployment and all of that, but the big part of our problem as young people is our attitudes as well. We were advertised to start a meeting at night. Many of us young entrepreneurs, we came up at 10. And, 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 and so it is normal, it's Ghana time. Yeah. But you are competing with people who don't do Ghana time. If they are in the total, they are in South Africa, if it is 9 o'clock, they have to go on a Zoom meeting when their clients or their partner that they are doing the business with yeah. is in Ghana. He is going to have 30 minutes. Yeah. Next yeah. time, the person will not take a serious view of you. But that's how we operate in this country because it's fine. The clouds gather, it is enough an excuse not to go to work today, but it is raining. And, and so, uh, in fact, it's not even raining. 
the class have gathered. They have the rain has always started in. It's cloudy, so that is a good enough excuse for, for you not to go to work. These are matters of the attitudes. The last time I had to change my tailor because I noticed that if my dress stays with him for one month or less, it's either oversized or undersized. It will never fit. So he has forgotten the measurement. And when he's measuring you, he says that he's keeping it. He said, I'm happy. I'm happy. I don't know if you, you guys experience. They are measuring you and they are not right to you. As is who is here. And so you come back and then the dress is either undersized or is oversized. Look, the world we are in is a world of precision. It is 10 centimeters. It is 10 centimeters. So why would we go and have you make a hospital bed for us? That would be wobbly because one leg is taller than some. When in China, we can get it and it's the same length of legs and the thing is stable. So you will be forced to go to China. So our own attitudes as young people as well. And we feed on our capital. Yeah. Okay, we can't wait to make profit. Eh? Even though it's, my understanding is that it's even unwise to feed on your capital. But we, like, to feed on even your profit. Yeah. You must feed on your salary. So you may own a company, you but you pay yourself. Yeah. You are not chopping the profit. But we, we are not even just chopping the profit, we are actually chopping the capital too. Mm -hmm. Because our value systems are that in this country. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and, and the value judgment people place on you is how what what car are you driving? Yeah. What perfume, what cologne is smelling on you? Uh, it's also it's not what your idea is. Mm -hmm. But we met people elsewhere. And this one to policy makers and big people must play with us. See, the value of the young Ghanaian is not in how beautiful she is yeah. or in the dress she's wearing. The value is what is upstairs. Yeah. So somebody can wear a shorts and a slippers. You can go before a banker, allow the person to defend the content of the proposal. But maybe a banker in Ghana, they will look at your, your dress and say, ah, you want to be a banker, and you want to be a, be a businessman, and you come wearing shorts. But Mark Zuckerberg, and so on and so forth, they sit on the floor in their offices in jeans, started jeans, and, and, and nickels. But they are the ones ruling the world. It was billions of dollars. So uh, I've gone in a wrong, but this is because I've already experienced to uh, the organizers, I would not have come, but for the importance that we and the new authority place on your work as young entrepreneurs, I have to run. So that I can really Kindly subscribe to Baba Bye bye.